so I'm super super excited right now because I am doing an unboxing haul. But I have never done any type of unboxing haul or video like this before. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to do this because I think they're really awesome and fun. Sorry, I don't want to get lipstick all over my face. I'm wearing lipstick. I never wear lipstick. Okay, I need to stop chattering. So I ordered the Canon T5i and that is a DSLR camera and um, it came off of Amazon. So I have the package right here and it's really actually kind of funny because I was expecting it. Um, today is Saturday. It came in yesterday, which is Friday, and I was expecting it to come in and I was like, where is the UPS guy? I saw him turn over there because I saw him like through my window because I'm a creeper like that. And I saw him go to the other neighborhood and I was like, well, why didn't he come to my house? I was expecting like a package or whatever. And then I checked the freaking door and it was there and I never even heard the doorbell, so whatever. Anyways, I'm here to do an unboxing haul and I really, really wish that I could have done it last night because I was so super excited to open this, but I knew if I already opened it and then did an unboxing haul, it wouldn't be the same. So that's why I waited for you guys. I waited like a whole 12 hours. No, 20, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's open this. I got a um, camera and then it came with a bag like to hold everything and then an SD card. So I'm gonna open this if I can. I am not strong at all, so this will be funny. So another thing I forgot to mention, my camera bag actually came in beforehand on Wednesday and the camera wasn't expected till Friday. They just sh they shipped it separately. So then everything would kind of, I don't know, come a little quicker, I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, I've been way too excited, so I'm rambling and going completely out of order with all my thoughts, but I actually paid for all this with my own money. So before you go saying that I'm a spoiled brat and I'm just trying to brag, for one thing, I'm not trying to brag. I think these videos are extremely helpful for people that are um, thinking about investing in a nicer camera. And I know I watched videos like this way before I decided to buy the T5i because I wanted to make sure it was something I wanted and um, like something that I wanted to spend all my money on because I did save all my money by myself um, from like my birthday and Christmas and all that. I just wanted to clarify that so you guys would know. Okay, so here we are. Wowza, how beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, and then it also came, you know, with this, sorry, with this, um, the SD card. I got a 32 gig because I don't know, it came with it. And I always need more SD cards because for some reason, I just like having more than one. Wow, my voice got weird for a second. I just like having more than one SD card because um, I just like to switch them out just to be sure that I have enough storage for everything if I want to like, if one is full and then, you know, I want to use the other one. So it comes with all these instructions and stuff. It comes with a CD too, so the CD and little like packet stuff is all on top. And now this part is covered, so I guess I will open this. Ironically, the T6i comes out next month, April, so I was like, what the heck? Because I actually didn't even notice that until like after I bought this camera. This doesn't even feel real. Like, I feel like this is not real. I just... This is what you see now that I've gotten through all of that. Should we pick up the lens or the camera? Let's pick up... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so comes with the camera strap on the left side or right side, whatever you're perspective is. And then it comes with the charger cable thing right here. Then comes with the USB so you can plug it into your computer Dora. Oh yes, the battery, that would be helpful. Oh, battery charger. And in the pretty pink bubble wrap is this beaut. Z lens. And in case you're wondering, I got the 1855. I did look at a lot of reviews and I wasn't really sure if I wanted the 18 135 or the 1855 so got the 1855 because for one thing that's what my friends both have my friend Taylor has a YouTube channel and she uses that lens and I like how she films with it so I figured it would be a good lens for me to get and then um, Mallory my other friend takes a lot of pictures and stuff and so she likes using the 1855 and I also saw some reviews online and I read about it a lot from one of the people that I watched on YouTube, he basically said that if you are thinking about expanding your lens collection and um, probably you're gonna be getting like more lenses in the future, 
um, then to stick with the 1855 and then work your way up from there. And if you're not, then 18135 would be great too, but it just depends on what you want. So I was like, all right, whatever. 1855, it's cheaper anyways. I'm not sure by how much. I can link it down below if you want to check out that camera on Amazon if you're thinking about buying one. If you want to see the exact one that I purchased, I will have that linked down for you down below. Down below, down there for you. I don't know. Here is the 1855 lens, and um, I mean, I guess there's not much else to say about this. I have a lot of learning to do right now because I've never owned a DSLR camera. This is the first one I've ever owned. I mean, I've always used a Nikon, Coolpix, whatever thing, and it's all right, but I mean, it's not like the best. And then I'm filming on a camcorder right now, so there's a first for everything, and I just need to learn. So here it is in this little covering. Let me get that out. Also, please keep in mind, I am not a camera enthusiast, if you will. I think I'm on the track of being one. Three cameras later, I have this, or two cameras. Actually, yeah, three. <laughs> I am not a professional or expert in all this stuff, but um, this whole filming world is kind of something that I really enjoy, and it's kind of interesting to me. So, I do have a clue but I'm not an expert. I'm gonna actually put the whole thing together and you know, get everything together and then I'm gonna film a few clips so you can see what it's like with the um, lens and all that stuff so then um, you can kind of understand uh, what this camera is all about so then if you're work if you're working <laughs> if you're looking to purchase something like this then this will probably help you because I know when I was about to buy this t uh, camera or this type of camera I was looking up a lot of reviews and videos um, of people testing out the camera for the first time and all that jazz so that's what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today <laughs> Cheesy. And then it actually goes, Hannah, that was so cheesy. <laughs> So now that you've seen everything, I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you kind of thought this was helpful if you're looking to buy something like this or if you're just curious. So um, if you have any other questions or anything like that, put them in the comments down below. I will answer all of them and I guess that's about it. Also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see now that I've got my new camera. So let me know. Also, if you have suggestions, if you already own this camera and um, you have like suggestions or tips and whatnot, leave them down below. That would definitely be helpful because um, I'm a newbie. I have a lot to learn. So I guess with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday. Bye. I